Hi, I'm Anton from Ingeneric. Rhine 8 is finally out and it's an impressive update. In this video, I will highlight 8 new features that will simplify your daily routine in the software. Let's begin. Let's start with a new gumball. It received an important update. I'll draw a circle to illustrate. Now we can extrude solids right away, just by dragging the circle on the axis. By holding Shift we can extrude in both directions. And by holding Ctrl we are able to perform an open extrusion. And that's not it. Let me draw a surface. Now we are able to perform a cut extrude or simply cut on the surface, just with a gumball. Inset was also available on Rhino 7, but just for the meshes. Now, in Rhino 8, we can use it for B-reps as well. Let's create a cube and try inset comment on one of its faces. Inset comment offsets geometry edges inside the face. New face can be moved or extruded as well. Auto Align C plane is a new cool feature which significantly simplifies workflow. It allows to swiftly change the working planes without the need to call additional commands. The function can be activated at the bottom of the screen. Once activated, we can hold Ctrl Shift keys and click on any surface you want to become a C plane. Now we are able to draw in a new C plane. Usually, when we're trying to split a surface in Rhino, the results are two trimmed surfaces. That is not ideal for further manipulations or especially for grasshopper usage. Well, with a new split refit command, we shall have these problems no more. Once we use split refit, we receive two unsplit surfaces with easy curves following the cut edge. Clipping plane is a very useful tool in Rhino 7, but in Rhino 8 it's on the whole new level. How would you like to have a 2D section view? that changes automatically according to the clipping plane position. Now all you need is to use a clipping drawing command. You can even set automatic hatching to, to this section. The workflow is as simple as that. First you create a clipping plane and after that add a clipping drawing. How many times have you tried to figure out inside what exact layer this geometry is hidden? 
especially if there are a lot of nested layers with similar or even same names. It was a pain in one well-known place, but finally our praise have been heard. And here it is, highlight layer command. I have a feeling I will set up a hotkey for this one, cause it will be one of the most used commands ever. To demonstrate push-pull command, let's create a cube. Then we draw some lines on uh, its face. Now we call a push-pull. Select a portion of the face between the lines we drew and press enter. You can see that we can now extrude or subtract a part of the face even though it hasn't been divided before. This tool will surely speed up the process of modeling of any complexity. The tool number one, in my opinion, is a shrink wrap. I've been in so many situations when I receive a mesh geometry that fails the check. For example, has duplicated faces on one manifold edges that are crucial for purpose of 3D printing. Now there is a shrink wrap. We can use this command on any mesh, b-wrap or even on several objects. We just need to select the desired mesh edge lengths in the command settings and Rhino will create a mesh shell that follows your initial geometry as close as possible. Now let's check the resulted mesh. This new mesh is all good to be printed right away. If you're wondering What's that behind me? It's a parametric paper panel, which uh, you can assemble by yourself. All the instructions and drawing files you can find in our parametric design market, link in the description below. Also, if you like our videos and you want to support us, you can visit our design market and choose something to buy. Thanks in advance.